Want to speak real Hebrew from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HebrewPod101.com. What's your reason for learning a language? Is it a personal goal, a hobby, or do you have dreams of living in a country where it's spoken? In this video, you'll discover 10 reasons people learn languages. You'll also learn why knowing and sharing your reason is important to succeeding in your learning. What's your reason for learning a language? Whatever your reason is, whether big or small, knowing it and talking about it is important. More often than not, your reason for learning a language is directly related to your long-term goal for the language. Your reason for learning might be, I want to live in the country where the language is spoken, or I want to understand the culture, movies, and music. But it can also be something simple, like I'm just interested in it. The point is, if you know your reason, you'll always remember what got you started in the first place. As a result, you'll maintain your motivation and continue your studies. But what about sharing your reason with others? This doesn't mean bragging about your goals and saying things like, I'll be fluent in 10 months. Rather, I'm learning because and sharing something specific to you, real reasons. When you talk about your reason for learning with others, you remind yourself indirectly. And the more you think about it, the more likely you are to do it. Plus, you set an expectation. By sharing your goals and your reasons for learning, your friends see you as someone who's actively learning a language, and that's another powerful motivator. Also, talking about it gives you confidence, the knowledge that you can and will learn the language. A lot of people think they can't learn a language. They think they don't have the time for it or the talent for it. In reality, you just need to start. By sharing your reason, you can convince yourself that you can do it. So, what's your reason for learning? Leave a comment and tell us why you started learning a new language. So, why are other language learners studying? We asked. Here are the top 10 reasons for learning a language. Number one, I love the culture and the people who speak the language. This is a popular answer, especially among our learners studying Japanese and Korean. Number two, I want to understand songs, movies, and TV shows. Songs, movies, and TV shows are great ways to immerse yourself in the language. If you're spending your time learning and immersing yourself, you're going to learn faster. Number three, it's a beautiful language. Sometimes people simply love the way the language sounds. This is a simple answer, but even this can keep you motivated if your interest in the language is genuine. Number four, my family comes from a place where the language is spoken. Of course, people want to be able to connect to their family and the people they love. Speaking of... Number five, I want to speak to my partner's family in their language. This can be a great way to connect with people and learn more about them, especially if they're new family. Number six, I'm learning the language to impress someone. Maybe you want to show off to someone special, or maybe surprise a grandparent with a card in their native language. There are a variety of situations in which using another language can show someone you care. Number seven, I love traveling. Knowing the local language when you travel will help you find new places and make new connections. It can only make your travel experience better. Number eight, I live or want to live in a country that speaks the language. It's a lot of people's dream to live overseas and experience the culture they love. Or maybe they need to move for work or family reasons. Learning the local language is extremely important if you're going to live in a different country. Number nine, I just love learning languages. What's great about this is if you've learned one language, it's easier to learn another because you learn how to learn a language, right? If you learn one, you develop certain habits and approaches that work for you. You can use this to master another. Number 10, it's just a personal goal. We hear this a lot, especially from learners that stopped, took a break, and came back. If you have a goal in mind, something you wanted to do but never did, you want to come back to it and get it done. Our results show that most people learn for love, for family, to travel, or for self-improvement. So why are you learning? Leave us a comment right now and let us know. If you want to achieve your language learning goal, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye.